welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Miami Marlins. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shumby. And Singy, the big bat in the lineup so far this year, number 54, leads the team at OPS. So he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. So almost ready to get underway on the hill here today, Jesus Lazardo. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot Leading more guys striking out Texas. today. But when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. And now the lefty. Sliced hard, but foul. Fastball in for a strike and a count one and two. It's no surprise they call this batter a day player. He statistically performs better in these games and he's hoping for a big performance in this one. Two two now. Simeon waits. Good job to fight that one off. The wind of the pitch. Line drive, and it's caught for the out. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. The wind and the pitch. Oh. Straighten him up hit. a little bit. One out, base is empty. Swung on, belted. Chisholm going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now the third baseman, Josh Smith. And he pumps it a strike. And that's off the inside edge. And one and one. Two out spaces empty. In the dirt, and that's ball two. That one lifted to left. He's got it, and that is out number three. We'll go to the bottom of the first, 0-0. Zero, zero. here with my pal Siggy our starter in this one Jake Latz well this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound hitters batting under 200 against him and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything doing any type of damage the only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run but outside of that it's gonna be a tough job for the opposing lineup today bottom of the first and at the plate for Miami number 54 
Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. The pitch. High fly ball out to left field. Duran right there to make the grab. And there's one away. Okay, let's check out the lineup. In that cleanup spot, a key piece for this club, Jake Berger. Yeah, definitely someone I always enjoy, you know, when I get a chance to watch him, whether he's hitting a game or even taking swings during batting practice. Man, this guy is always so focused on what he's doing on that task at hand. He's got so much attention to detail that when he steps in the box, his success rate is really high. Ryan no De La Cruz, one batting with one down, takes a strike. That one, one not one close. Break. One and one. Swing and a miss. Chased it out one of the ball. zone. One, two now. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Fights that one away, still one and two. Simeon on the run, sends it over to first, and they got him. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. Two outs, space is empty. Josh Bell, the next up for the Marlins. No, that one at 95 missed up top, and that's ball one. And there's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Whoa. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a foul straight back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Three Pitch balls. misses there, and the count is filled up. Side, and that is ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't cool. offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. So two down. And now Jake Berger. And that one fouled off. Two outs. And now it's even up. One and one. Ripped, but it curls foul. Fouls it off, still one and two. And the pitch. And another ball. Bell leads off first with two down to the inning. Bounce to third. On to Simeon. And the inning is over. One left for Miami. Scoreless after one. Back here in Lone Depot Park. Now it's the DH, Adolis Garcia. Garcia. Garcia goes six foot one, 31 years old. He's usually in right field, but today he's getting the DH treatment. And a pitch. 
right through there for a strike. Well, a nice day off for him, not having to jog out to the outfield. Gets to be in the DH spot. Be curious to see how he keeps himself in a rhythm, not playing defense. And it's quickly nothing in two on uh, the designated hitter. to kick the pitch inside almost got him yeah, that's outside two balls two strikes recognize that change up right out of the hand just spit on it that one well upstairs and now it's three and two Popped up right side. Cortez moving under it. He makes the grab, and there's one down. Here's Leody Tavares. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. The first baseman, Nathaniel. Two Lowe. outs, base is empty. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And that one lifted in the air, center field. And that is that. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And now for the Marlins, Emmanuel Rivera. The third baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. The pitch. Slider for a strike. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Heim calls it in, and there's one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Outside low, and it's two and one. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Struck him out looking with the off speed stuff. Batting seven. Here's Tim Let's Anderson. Tim Anderson. Out towards right center field. That gets down for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Vidal Brujan in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Nick Fortes, the next up for the Marlins. 
and he swings and misses at the initial offering. Kicks and deals. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Gonna oh. count one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. First and second, two down. On the ground to third. Over to low. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Marlon strand a pair. We'll move to the third with no score. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Outside. One ball, no straight. Wouldn't chase that time. Two balls, no strike. That misses. Three and O. Oh. Swing and a miss. That just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And yeah, there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. That one fouled off. And a pitch. And now the count is even. The pitch. Swings and misses. And that's strike two. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Now this is in the air down the line. Gets under it. Makes the grab one away. Got it done. The right fielder, number 32, Evan. Here's the rookie right fielder, Evan Carter. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. First pitch just misses. Top of the third, no score. Ground ball right side could be two. Over to second for one. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Here is Marcus Simeon. Over one so far. First pitch and he just misses. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And here it comes. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on-base percentage a little bit, and that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS, well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Seager goes after that one for strike one. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And the old one just oh, missed. One ball, one strike. Oh, 
Next offering is in for a strike. Well, this is a higher leverage spot, and I love the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next in terms of the pitch sequence. And a ball evens the count. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the outer half is open. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Left-hand hitter waits. And that's a little bit high. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Two on, two outs. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. So the batting order turns over. And now the right fielder fly to left his first time. Lats back to work. In there at the knees. And it's 0 and 1. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. To the right side, sneaks through, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Brian De La Cruz now at the plate. Grounded out his first time up. That's ball, ball one low. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And Part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Kicks and fires. And a count one and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball. one. No and he deals. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Carter makes the grab for the second out. Now batting first baseman. Jake. Berger. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jake Berger. He's 0 for 1. Hey. Right through there for a strike. And ball one. Out towards left center. Tavares puts it away, and that will end the inning. They get a leadoff single, but leave him stranded. Three innings complete, no score.
Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. The third baseman, number eight, Josh Smith. The wind of the pitch. Inside, just missed. Yeah, that's outside ball two pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there started on the edge of the plate with the spin you know it's going to finish well off the plate that three misses off. the zone and it's three and oh yeah, and there's the one. automatic three and one. left hand batter waits and a breaking ball drops in for a strike. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Adolis Garcia will hit next. He popped out to the catcher his first job off. That's in there. Strike one. There it was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. It's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Oh. That one's upstairs. Ball one. one. And that's ball one. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. That one is absolutely belted. Get out of town. A two run blast. His 13th home run of the season. It's 2 0. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. And no. now here is Laoti Tavares. Well, these Rangers doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. And a foul ball. And another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Three ball. Two strike. Payoff pitch. That one hit to right. One away. Now batting the first baseman. Nathaniel, Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Low. Here we go, Miami. That one outside, and it's one to no. Two runs across in the inning, top half of inning number four. And that's outside. Birch Smith taking over on the mound. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he needed a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And he can't make the play. To first, but no chance to get him. We'll see how they score. The batter, the catcher, Jonah. Man at first, and now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. 
He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. That one way outside. Ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. That one off the mark. And now 2-0. And a foul ball. Right handed reliever. That missed by a lot. Three and one now. That's through there for a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. Three one. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Righty delivers. Got him. Breaking ball clips the outside edge. Oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Ezekiel Duran getting ready to hit. Fly to right his first time. Fly ball down the line. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And that is that. Texas plates two on the homer. It's now a 2 nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And at the plate for Miami, Emmanuel Rivera. He popped out his first time. Rivera. And the pitch. One Not ball. even close okay. there. And that is ball one. The pitch. And it's even up. You know, these Marlins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. The pitch. And oh. another ball. Hey. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. So up next, Jazz Chisholm Jr. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Misses inside. 1-0. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The fish trailing by two. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And there's the strike. Ground ball to the right side. Takes it himself. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping no the ball out seven. of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another yeah. ground ball. Good execution. Anderson. And now the shortstop, Tim Anderson. One for one with a single so far. They say it went. No ball. One strike. Strike two. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. And one, two, three go the Marlins. They're still down. It's two zip.
Evan Carter digs in now. Carter in his rookie season just 21 years old and he was a second round pick in 2020. One and the ball. first offering is not close. Action in the pen down there. Ryan Weathers up and throwing. Puck warming up as well. And the righty deals. He swings and fouls one off. Right hander kicks deals. Lifted in the air out to left. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting. The second baseman. Marcus. So the lineup flips over. Simeon. Now it's Marcus Simeon. For Marcus That's Simeon, the probably the biggest adjustment and improvement he's made has been on defense. Simeon made 35 errors as a shortstop in 2015 with the Oakland A's. And by the time 2021 came around, he won a gold glove with the Blue Jays. Wouldn't chase that time. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. And it's fouled away. Next Ooh. offering is in for a strike. Okay. Swing and a miss struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Seeger in the box now. No balls and a strike. The shortstop takes a ball. One and one. The one one. Ball two. And that one is lifted in the air. And Seeger is set down. And that'll do it. And now it's Vidal Bruhan. And he's already singled in this game. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge and that's ball one bullpen action for the Rangers Michael Lorenzen getting loose out there Haney also getting ready right side and that's just foul the one one the other way, base hit into right field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Spoiled that backdoor breaking ball perfectly. Stayed tall, didn't lean out towards it, let it get deep, and then just squared it up pretty nicely the opposite way. That's great hitting. And now the catcher comes up to him. Nick Fortes. That one close, ruled the ball. And that's ball one. Runner at first with no outs here. Yes. Next offering in there for a strike. One ball, strike one. one. Strike. Fastball for a strike.
Check swing, right. appeal to first. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter. One for two. And a foul ball. That one's upstairs, ball one, and it's one and one. Foul ball there. And now the lefty, curve in the dirt, kicks away. And now a man into scoring position. Well, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. And it's filled up. Brian De La Cruz to bat next. On the ground, right side. Steps on first for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. Close with that one, and it's one to know. Fought off foul. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off speed pitch on this next one. Two outs. Out to short. Seeger. That's the third yeah. out. Marlins leave one. They trail things here. Two nothing. Here's the third baseman, Josh Smith. Smith back to work. That one finds the zone. 0-1. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Anthony Bender appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. The pitch. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. And he went around according to Daryl Parker. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. And that's outside. One and two here. Popped up. Long run. Unable to catch up, and it gets down. And the leadoff man aboard. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Next to bat, the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. He had a big swing back in the fourth, a two-run homer, and that helped them get the lead. And what a swing it was, Booth. Poetry in motion. And those are the type that you hardly feel when you connect with the baseball. Just so smooth, a great feeling off the bat. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. 
throw back in quickly first and second now with nobody out a couple of singles back to back pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one he pulled it hard into the outfield and even when you keep it on the ground it feels great when you hit a missile like that and now here's the speed threat outfielder Laoti Tavares right through there for a strike The Rangers trying to break this one open. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Oh, and two now. On the ground, two ball. Bruhan. They get the tag on him. Throw to first, but he beat it. Nathaniel Lowe now at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. You got to look for something up in the zone. At worst case scenario, you deliver the sacrifice fly. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. one. one strike. Runners are at the corners, one away. Pickoff move to first, and he's back in standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. In for a strike, and it's one and two. Good pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. First and third, one down. Look out! Yep, and it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. Golden opportunity right here. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. I think ultimately you want to tie him up get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield late on that fastball one, and one. one out base is full down the foul. line and it's foul He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Kicks and deals. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. Duran having a lot more success on the road this season. over the fence so it's an automatic double as they score a pair on the play well there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that you get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty and now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well now Evan Carter that one fouled off Second and third, two down. Nope. Next pitch That's is outside. Fastball for a strike. Two 
to third. Rivera zips it across. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. So two runs, three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Part of the order, three, four, five, coming up. It's the Rangers four and the Marlins nothing. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. Josh Bell getting ready to hit. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. That's down and in, a slider missed. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Grant Anderson, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. The pitch. Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. And here it comes. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. And now it's going to be Jake Berger. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 1. The Marlins down by four here in the bottom of the sixth. Strike two. And it really looks like these oh, hitters okay. have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Ground ball right side. He'll do it himself. Two up, two down. Up next for the Marlins, the third baseman, Emmanuel. Rivera. So two down now, and here is Emmanuel Rivera. And first offering is fouled off. Now a check swing, but he held up. In the air, left side. Durant makes the grab. And that is that. Ryan Weathers comes on now. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not now been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. Ryan Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Marcus Simeon. The wind of the pitch. In the air, left field. And it drops in. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that matchup again. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside, getting that barrel there to meet it just in time. I'll tell you what, it's not easy to do. Seeger stands in now and immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Weathers fires. And yeah, that's a little bit high. And now it's even one and one. Late that time, and it's strike two. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Fights that one away, still one and two. Left hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Now the third baseman, Josh Smith. 
One ball. No this second. one in the dirt. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. Simeon into scored position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. You know, sometimes it takes a reliever a little time to get comfortable with the mound out there, especially when they come in trying to be nasty with every pitch they throw. Not exactly what they were looking for when they called him in, though. We'll see if he can settle down. One out, the runner at second. Here are the top half of inning number seven. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And That's that one ball. missing low. Two and two. out number two now here's the Rangers DH Adolis Garcia he's already homered here in this one fastball for a strike This to third. Oh, he gloves it. Gathers and throws. And very nicely done for the out. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. So digging in, Jazz Chisholm Jr. The fish in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And he deals. There's the strike at the knees. Changing speeds has this lineup completely off balance in this one. We've seen a lot of missed time swings, and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's a ball. Fouls it off, still one and two. At the belt and fires. Popped in the air, left field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one the down. batter number seven, shortstop, Tim. And the batter Anderson. will be the shortstop, Tim Anderson. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Gathered in by Seeger, throw to first. Yeah, they take care of Anderson for the out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Vidal Brujan. A little out front there as he swings through it. The Marlins down by four here at the bottom of the seven. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Two down, nobody on. Missed with a changeup, and it's one and two. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. Nothing doing for the Marlins. They trail it here for nothing. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Laoti Tavares. 
0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. As the lefty gets to work. Up the middle, Ruhan fires over to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. So up next, Nathaniel Lowe. Right through there for a strike. Weathers, in his second season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a two-seamer, and he works in a changeup. Slowly on the ground to short, Anderson. On the run, throw to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now batting, the catcher, Jonah. Two outs, bases empty. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Upstairs. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the eighth. And there's a foul ball. The wide to kick the pitch. Just missed. That one the other way. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rangers four and the Marlins nothing. Grant Anderson on the pitch here. He's pitching on two days rest. Anderson. And here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. The catcher. Nick Fortes. The pitch. Outside corner, there's a strike. Oh, Next pitch oh, is one. outside. One and one. Fastball for a strike. One ball, two strike. The one, two. No. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. The Rangers leading by four. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Right through there for a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Robert Grimsley getting ready to go. Here's the 0-2. Check swing. Trying to hold up. Now an appeal to first. Got him. Dave Lawrence rings him up. Up next for the Marlins. Brian De La Cruz. The next up for the Marlins. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. That's a slider for a strike. Chases that one. Three up, three down, inning over. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound.
Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. One for three. And a pitch. There's the strike of the knees. And it's 0 and 1. Hard ground ball, base knock. Everything came together for him. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Now a chance for Evan Carter. Strike one. Oh, and one. Here's your one. Foul ball. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. Right. One. And oh. that just misses. It's a good take. Offering upstairs. Three and two. This one lifted in the air, left field. De La Cruz snags it. The batter number two, second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Man at first, Marcus Simeon will hit next. Run around the move. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Squeezes it. The batter, number five, shortstop, Corey Seeger. So, a man aboard. Now it's Corey Seeger. 0 for 4 with a pair of strikeouts and a pair of flyouts. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. One ball, one strike. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Now snap throw to first, and he's back in safely. Two outs. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And the pitch. And that one off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Stays alive. He hasn't gotten the result yet, but he's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row, he's right on this pitcher. The 2-2. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. 
five foul balls in a row I have no idea what that feels like but you got to love this battle just wondering who's going to blink first. Still two and two after the foul ball. This is something else. Running that pitch count off. I can't imagine how frustrating it must be for the pitcher to have so many good pitches spoiled off like this. Great. And another ball. Gets a piece and stays alive. Left hand batter waits. On the ground, right side. Boots it. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. One left for Texas, but they lead it four to nothing. Three, four, five do up for the home team. Josh Bell at the plate now. Josh Bell. The right hander back to work. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. It falls in and that's a knock. Now he drove that ball very well out to the deep part of the field and you may be surprised he didn't get a double out of it but I'll tell you they did a great job of getting that ball back into the infield right away and it might have been the right call to hold him at first Berger stands in now and watches strike one well the leadoff man gets on you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two And that's in for a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. The fish down by four. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. One and two. In the dirt, blocked. Nice job behind the plate there. One two now That's goes right. down looking now Emmanuel game. Rivera He's the next Emmanuel. up for the Marlins Rivera. edge of the zone for a strike one one Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The other way, and a base hit right there. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Not much he can do about that one on the mound. Made a good pitch inside and jammed him. He just found a way to find it. A new arm into the game, the righty, Jose Leclerc. A chance at his first save of the year. So first and second with one gone. And now the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. And a swing and a miss. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. That one missing inside. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. That's a little bit low. The two on is high. 
first pitch strike from the pitcher but then no panic at all by the hitter very patient showing good discipline now he's in the driver's seat with the 3 1 count ground ball left side could be two there's one that's a double play the ball game is over the ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house I mean it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall you just can't forget your first save a four nothing shutout in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB the show thanks for stopping by I'm John Chambi talk to you soon